Let's jump to Rosaceae. I love thinking about Rosaceae and Ranunculaceae in the same, uh, almost the same breath because they're so similar in so many ways. Five mirrors, numerous stamens, often numerous pistils. Common genera include Rosa, Progeria, Prunus, Potentilla, Rubus, Critigus, uh, Holodiscus, and Pyrus. Um, they have a floral cup. These are our uh, typical perigenous uh, plants. They're a little bit in between hypogenous and epigenous. That's Rosaceae. Let's talk Ramnaceae. Who's Ramnaceae? These are shrubs or trees. Stamens are opposite clawed petals generally. Didn't talk about that in earlier videos, but it's a really fun thing. Ramnus and Ceanothus are our most common genera. Phagaceae. Who are we talking about? The oaks. You know the Phagaceae. Hard to miss them. Monoecious uh, trees or shrubs. Fruits and nut in a cup or a spiny burr. Castanopsis, Castanopsis quercus. Or two genera. Betulaceae. Who could it be now? Betulaceae. Alnus, Betulus, Corallus. These are all in the Betulaceae and they all have similar leaves. Pinnately veined leaves with uh, crenate or dentate margins, kind of toothed margins uh, frequently. In Alnus, sometimes there's a little fold over on the leaf there that helps you recognize them. These are monoecious trees or shrubs um, and uh, the female flowers are in catkins or the male flowers are in catkins pendulant catkins and the female uh, flowers are in cones they look a little like woody cones in a conifer of course they're not that's betulaceae oxalidaceae we're ripping through them now oxalidaceae of course this is oxalis which you'll know as sorrel. These are sour tasting plants. They often taste like sour apple. They look a little bit like uh, clovers. The flowers are five parted. Leaves tend to be palmately compound into these divided uh, three leaflet plants. Oxalidaceae. Really interesting family, of course. Hypericaceae. This is an important one if you're into um, medicinals. Uh, this is the St. John's Wort family, and I feel pretty good about this one. Ha ha, that's a medicinal joke. Uh, St. John's Wort, of course, is supposed to be a mood bur uh, booster. Now, these have many stamens. The leaves are often with, often with black or uh, translucent dots. One of our more common invasive species, Hypericum perforatum, if you hold the leaf up to the light, uh, you'll see dots through it. Hypericum is the common genus. Okay, violaceae, way over here. Let's look at violaceae. Who are the violets? Here's violaceae. Okay, frequently you'll notice violaceae because of the heart-shaped leaves. Important to know, that's not always a character for all violets. Some violets actually have pretty dissected leaves. They have uh, zygomorphic flowers, much like you'll find in the Fabaceae, but there are some big differences. Note the banner is not united. Instead, we have two petals up there, uh, two petals to the side, one petal down low, and often that lowermost petal is uh, forms a little spur uh, at the back, and uh, the petals tend to be free of each other. One more family. We almost forgot the Salicaceae or Willow family. Uh, of course, this contains Populus, uh, the cottonwoods, and of course, it contains uh, Salix.